Hey, um, tonight I would like to talk about a book that I read while I was still living in Canada. But as you know, I lost most of my stuff in the move from Canada to Holland. Uh, but bit by bit, I'm start starting to remember the books that I had. And this was one of them. And it was called Snow Crash from Neil Stevenson from 1992 with science fiction. Um, but the novel takes place in a future that seems foreign and familiar at the same time. Um, everything is mostly controlled by singular wealthy individuals. Hero is the main character and he is a pizza deliverer and a hacker for the American mafia, which has been corporatized. The metaverse is what the internet turned into, a virtual reality-based internet that resembles a multiple-player online game. A new drug in the metaverse is called Snow Crash, uh, and it involves naked avatars unrolling scrolls that had binary code on them. It causes the system of people to crash and to develop brain damage in real life. Hero discovers an ancient Sumerian language that allowed the human brain to be programmed. Priests used to gather the masses, the masses and turn them mindless and compliant. Ultimately, a god called Enki created a counter virus against the controlling words. This is where the biblical story of the Tower of Babel originated. Hero and his girlfriend, Ioannida, they get the counter virus for the refugees that also, well, in this, this, this story where uh, huge inflation is happening. So people are fleeing to the better parts of the world and they save the refugees from being infected by the snow crash. And, uh, well, of course, he and Ioannida... Uh, their, their love lives on forever in the real world, <laughs> of course. Um, it's a nice story. You have to really pay attention because there are a lot of details in it and uh, it's quite dense. Um, but it, it underscores again that language is everything. Um, I actually read, because I was looking at those secondhand books, and there was this one really old book that was the most expensive book that was bought by Bill Gates. And it was also, was it written by Leonardo da Vinci? And it was written in a language that was uh, Spiegelbild. So the other way around. And um, about the world. And it makes you think that uh, what is happening right now, it's... They're always trying to do the opposite of what is right. What if they turned our language the other way around? No? Makes you think. Anyways, I might uh, explore this in the next uh, video. Uh, I wish you a nice evening.